Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have a quick look at the upcoming Air Jordan 3 Retro in the Infrared 23 colorway. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so here's just a quick look. I grabbed these off of a pre-order from sneakercrew.com. Um, I've, you know, if you want them now, you can grab them. I think they still have sizes left. Um, and then I've also heard that they're like a super, super GR. So like they're going to be available in massive quantities all over the place. I don't know if that means like each store is going to get a ton of them or not. But, um, you know, hopefully just call your stores. If they can tell you, they'll tell you. If not, then I think they've already done raffles or whatever. I'm not even sure if they did raffles for these. So, um, but yeah. As far as the shoe itself, um, quality, in my opinion, is pretty darn nice. Um, the leather is nice and soft. And this stuff, I this this leather on the rand here is always pretty cheap. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It is an actual leather this time. You can see the grains in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's grains in there so that's nice that they actually used some decent real leather it's just like a really really thin cut um, and then the upper is a nice leather soft uh, PU coat on that same with the black uh, the tongue and everything as well so um, everything that they use here is pretty plush which I personally like um, there is some inconsistencies with the uh, elephant print here it's like a thinner print versus the thicker print and same thing on the heel and toe and then that and that is definitely different. Um, that's something that I noticed with almost everybody's like 88 threes, uh, the ones with the Nike Air on the back, like all of those had like a different heel versus the toe, which I don't really understand how that works, but it doesn't really bother me. But I do like the way that this looks uh, more than the thicker uh, elephant print, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, and then you got infrared hits uh, right here on the bottom and then uh, in the airbag as well as the um, TPU or plastic uh, eyelets. So um, these fit just like all the other threes. I personally like to go down half a size and uh, get a nice snug and closer fit. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's an Air Jordan 3. Uh, good quality. Price is 170 But yeah, I really like these though. I like these more than the white and cement original colorway. I said that on Instagram. I said, yo, you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy. And a lot of people did, <laughs> so um, that's cool, you know, it's just my personal preference. I just, for whatever reason, I just think that this, like the full-on paint here just looks better. I don't know why. Um, I've always, like, wondered, like, why didn't they go the whole way on the white and cements, because this part's all white and stuff. I just thought it looked unfinished, basically, but, um, yeah, I just like the way that this looks better. I like the black bottom on it as well, and, um... You know, I, I do like the white tongue on the other ones, but uh, other than that, I like everything else on on these guys here. Um, oh, and I definitely like the black lining as well. It's not going to get it's not going to get dirty and stuff. So, um, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. Just a quick look, and um, I really really dig these. Um, I think that the Jordan brand has done a great job with the Jordan Three colorways so far, as far as like new colorways, like fresh takes or fresh looks on them. So. Some people don't like it, and uh, some people do. I'm personally one of the ones that, that really likes it. So I like to see something different besides just the OG stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Again, if you want to grab these now, you can over at SneakerCrew.com. Otherwise, you could wait for the release date, which is going to be this Saturday. So um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Make sure to stay tuned to my site, KicksOnCourt.com, for all your performance needs. So until next time, guys, have a good one.